Summer winds down and we start to get ready for yet another school year. One of the biggest challenges is transitioning back into that school schedule. Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine editor Angela Ardolino is here to help it make it as stress free as possible. You start thinking about, oh my gosh, I got to get the kids back in bed in time, get the breakfast, get the lunches. It's a lot of stress. So first of all, we need to get them back onto their sleep routines. That's, That's easier right. said than done, but now is the time to do it, right, now. before they go to school. Do it now so you don't have gr grouchy little children in the morning <laughs> when they go back to school. So yes, get back into the routine now so that by the time the first day of school comes that they're not, they're not, you know, alarmed by the early morning and not feeling good and groggy. So but yes. How much sleep do they actually need? Children need nine hours or more of sleep, depending on their age, but nine hours is a pretty good pretty good number for them to, to think of but kids need a lot of sleep they're growing they're not just needing the sleep they're growing so they really do need at least nine hours of sleep and that's why it's so important to come up with a routine that at nighttime they are they're getting all of their stuff done they're packing their book bags they're getting their homework done they're deciding what they're gonna wear they're packing their lunches so the morning time all they have to worry about is baby taking a shower or bath and going off to school eating a healthy breakfast which is so important to keep them energized and thinking and learning throughout the day and then make sure that they're all ready that you don't have to worry about the things the night before okay we've got the back to school nighttime routine but what about the morning and afternoon routine what should well, happen there and then when you come home from school if they don't have an after school activity a, a snack and then go right into homework so that they remember what they learned during the day. Homework is a reflection of what they learned during the day, so it's still fresh in their mind. So hurry up and get that homework out of the way. And then when they go to bed at night, give them an hour or so just to wind down, whether it's, you know, reading a book together play, or just to together. play, just so that they're wound down so that they go to sleep. So they're not all crazy playing a game and then get into bed and lay there for an hour. And if you've got teenagers, make sure that you're putting those cell phones away in one place, maybe a kitchen so they're not up all night texting and not getting any sleep. <laughs> you also have a back to school fair to help us get we ready. Do. We do. This Saturday at the Glacier Children's Museum we have the back to school fair, our sixth annual back to school fair. This year's pre uh, presented by Woodmont Charter School. It's huge. It's awesome. It has all kinds of after school care programs, private schools, preschools. Verizon will be there with the newest phones. I mean you name it. It's everything you need to get prepared. If you don't know, if you need a tutor or want to take online classes. So basically everything a mom needs. And the best part is it's at the museum so kids get to enjoy all the exhibits and have a good time while moms are learning about what they can do for their kids during the school year. Is there a charge? There is. It's five dollars a person and the first 150 kids get a goodie bag filled with goodies but museum members get in for free. Wow, fantastic. So you got yeah. everything covered. That's right. It's 9 to 4 on Saturday. All right, we'll be there. All right, great. Nice good to see you. You too. And then Angela is going to be back with us next week. She'll talk about what you need to know about back to school physical. So very important there. If you miss any of our points, you want to share the information with another parent, just go to our website, abcactionnews.com. You can also find help with a variety of parenting issues at tampabayparentingmagazine.com. And while you're there, sign up for a subscription to Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine.